Your company launches a search for an open position. The applications start rolling in, and the qualified candidates are identified. Now, the choosing begins. Person A, Ivy League, 4.0, flawless resume, great recommendations, all the right stuff. Person B, State School, fair amount of job hopping, and odd jobs like. Cashier and singing waitress, but remember, both are qualified. So I ask you, who are you going to pick? My colleagues and I created very official terms to describe two distinct categories of candidates. We call A the silver spoon, the one who clearly had advantages and was destined for success, and we call B. The scrapper, the one who had to fight against tremendous odds to get to the same point. You just heard a human resources director refer to people as silver spoons and scrappers, <laughs> which is not exactly politically correct and sounds a bit judgmental. But before my human resources certification gets revoked, <laughs> let me explain. A resume tells a story. And over the years, I've learned something about people whose experiences read like a patchwork quilt, that makes me stop and fully consider them before tossing their resumes away. A series of odd jobs may indicate inconsistency, lack of focus, unpredictability, or it may signal a committed struggle against obstacles. At the very least. The scrapper deserves an interview. To be clear, I don't hold anything against the silver spoon. Getting into and graduating from an elite university takes a lot of hard work and sacrifice. But if your whole life has been engineered towards success, how will you handle the tough times? One person I hired felt that because he attended an elite university, there were certain assignments that were beneath him, like. Temporarily doing manual labor to better understand an operation. Eventually, he quit. But on the flip side, what happens when your whole life is destined for failure, and you actually succeed? I want to urge you to interview the scrapper. I know a lot about this because I am a scrapper.